Who's had that phenomenon before where they've kegged a beer, right? And then they go, oh, it's amazing on the day you keg it, and then a couple of days later it's gone, your beer's oxidised. Okay, we all know oxygen is bad for beer, but just how bad is it? So, you're about to see a presentation Helen ran during our Good Beer Week event uh, that we held a few months past. There she was joined by Steve Henderson, uh, famously known as Hendo. He's a, a very well known and respected craft beer industry consultant here in Australia. And he got onto this really interesting tangent about uh, the role of oxygen and just how little oxygen it takes to oxidise your hobby beers. He starts out using some numbers which you might think are a little bit abstract, but hang in there. He, he goes on to give a really good visual uh, reference for just how little oxygen it takes. So let's get into it. How much oxygen do you think is acceptable in a beer? How much dissolved oxygen do you think is acceptable? It's not zero. 12 parts per million. 12 parts per million. Anyone else want to have a throw a number out there? Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> Once the beer's all done and panned and all that sort of stuff, the most does DO is 100 parts per billion. <laughs> and that's even a big number. So most breweries are hitting 50 parts per billion uh, uh, at the moment. So 100 parts per billion. How we actually measure that in a brewery is we use a machine called a low range de dissolved oxygen meter, low range DO meter. Little machine, about yay big, $30,000. Okay. Oh, I have to. <laughs> I'm very lucky. So it's not practical, right, to, to for, for even some of the smaller craft breweries to have a low range DO meter, right? To be able to measure that. Uh, measuring parts per million, that's a high range DO meter. So some of the pH meters that you see can measure dissolved oxygen. Great for soil, great for water, not for beer. Okay? Um, so what does 100 parts per billion look like? What do you think it might look like? If I was to take a portion of air, and a portion and some beer, how much air in the beer do you think would be 100 parts per billion? So air is about 21% oxygen, okay? Uh, if I was to take, and, and just going on a basic assumption that it's 100% gonna dissolve into the beer, 0 0.45 millilitres of air per 1,000 litres of beer. Can you visualise in your head 0 0.45 millilitres of air? Or 0 0.45 millilitres of anything? It's not much. Can you picture 1,000 litres of beer? pretty easily. That's 100 parts per billion. So, you guys, I, my, my brown mice is 20 litres, so I do 20 litre batches. So divide that 0 0.45 millilitres, right, by, <clears throat> well that's uh, 20 litres, uh, it's like 0.2%. Uh, so divide 0 0.45 by 0 0.2, 0 0.02, uh, and that's the amount of air that is allowed to hit your beer in 20 litres. Make sense? So let's say you're a person who uh, brews in a, uh, I brew in a firmzilla, I ferment a firmzilla, mm -hmm. right? And I transfer, uh, you know, I do uh, I pressure transfer, I use CO2 to push the beer out into my corny keg. What do you think the volume of the hose would be? Would it way too much? <laughs> exactly. It's spot on, right? So way too much in the hose. What about the air that would be in the keg? Right? I don't kill it. Way too much, that's 12 parts per million. You're winning. <laughs> um, and so you see that, so, so basically the tolerance for dissolved oxygen uh, in beer is extremely low. So the, the, what, I, what I teach my clients uh, is I teach them to think small, act big. Think small means find the DO, right? I've just showed you how to visualize air. You know how small the tolerances are. Think small is find those little nooks and crannies where you think air might be. Act big means purge the shit out of it with CO2. You'll have to bleep that. Sorry, it's on YouTube, it's for children. <laughs> um, uh, and so that's what think small, act big is. So what I encourage you guys to do is think small, act big. If you get it right, you'll have these amazing hoppy beers that will at least last a couple of weeks, right? So are you all freaked out yet? Um, don't worry, Hendo did go on to say that we should try and not be too hard on ourselves as home brewers because there is only so much you can do at the end of the day, especially if you're bottling. We can't all be doing airless transfers and purging everything with CO2, but if you are doing that, it's probably for the best. So I hope you did get something out of this video. Um, it, 
does just go to show how little oxygen it takes uh, to potentially stay out your beers, particularly the hoppy ones. Uh, if you want to see more of Hendo, you can do that at his YouTube channel, Rockstar Brewer. I have put a link to that in the description there, just a little shout out again. Um, and maybe before you pop off, you could consider giving us a subscribe. Uh, I know every YouTuber does say that, but it, it really does help the channel out. Um, and it keeps you up to date with our stuff as well. So, yeah, win-win.